Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio, right? yo, son. Hey, you know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. We back in effect. Excuse me. And today, man, we talking about the Wilson Block Magazine, issue 81 on your head, son. You feel me? And, um... Yo, man, yet again, you know what I'm saying, I'm very proud to bring you yet another, you know, historic issue of the Wilson Block Magazine, a collector's edition series, okay? The Wilson Block Magazine, issue 81, comes in six different colors to choose from, okay? Let me call it six different renditions, okay, because they're actually like, you know, color, you know, duo tone colors, you know what I'm saying, so the, the, the colors are actually like the background, so, you know, we actually, um, you know, just kind of reformatted the Wilson Block magazine, we just renewed our dot com, and, um, you know, we just wanted to do something, we just kind of wanted to like, you know, revert back to, you know, reset the default, you know what I mean, in, in a sense, and I say that by saying, you know, we kind of reverted back to our original colors, which was black and yellow. And um, we actually went to the yellow. We There is a, a specific type of yellow we use. We just use regular yellow this time. And, uh, you know, the, the Bumblebee edition is the, you know, is the front runner, the front runner color uh edition of this series of issue 81 and uh yo i'm actually gonna bring it to you and talk to you about it i'm actually you know looking at it from the plum edition okay and uh i just gotta let you know the wilson black magazine issue 81 comes in six different color renditions okay we got the bumblebee edition the black and yellow we got the standard edition the black and white and then we got the berry which is the blue the cherry which is the red the melon which is the green and the plum which is the purple. And the Plum Edition is what I'm bringing it to you in, man. Because this one is my personal favorite um, for a lot of reasons. I mean, I mean, the color purple in full is really just a nice color. I like it. Um, it reminds me of, you know, Alzheimer's awareness. And, you know, I just really like the Plum Edition. You know what I'm saying? When I do these color renditions of the magazine. And anyone that knows about the Wilson Black Magazine knows that, you know, we did... Uh, you know, we started the whole color variations in, um, during issue 30. You know what I'm saying? Well, not 30, but like issue 31 through issue 34. You know what I'm saying? All of those had different color renditions of the same issue. And um, I just really like doing the magazine like this. You know what I'm saying? And for issue 81, I wanted to show... This was my way of keeping my foot on the net. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to show that... You know, not only did we make it to issue 80, but we're still on top of our game for issue 81, okay? And for issue 81, I pushed the limit, I raised the bar, I did even more than I was, you know, supposed to or obligated to, that you know, self-obligated to. Yo, man, I decided to render it in different colors just to give different options and just to show how how different and awesome of a publication that the Wilson Block Magazine is. You know what I'm saying? And so, yo, it's the Wilson Block Magazine, issue 81, December 19th, 2018. And yo, man, you know what I'm saying? This is like the second to the last issue or, or the third to the last issue of the year, man. Okay, second to the last, I believe. Something like that, okay? I believe the 24th and then the second, those are the next two issues. And the 24th will be Christmas Eve, uh, issue 82 will probably be the last issue of the year. Okay, in 2019, we got a lot to look forward to. A year worth of weekly issues. And we'll be passing issue 100, uh, I think, by like, you know, February, March, or April, something like that. And, uh, man, it's about to happen. You know what I'm saying? We straight breeze through the 70s, man. All the 70s, uh, issue 70s, okay, were all weekly issues. And I'm proud of that. Issue 71 was the first issue to break. 700 downloads, you know what I'm saying, and you know, every issue is, is climbing, you feel me, so without further ado, man, we're gonna talk about the Wilson Black Magazine, issue 81, okay, and on this cover, man, you know, we, we pretty much feature and cover art from, from a lot of the content in the Wilson Black Magazine, and on the website, okay, we got Binks on the cover, and her single, Closer, you can listen and download that, we're gonna talk more about it, we got emo rap musician Loco Zarni from Johannesburg, South Africa, 
Okay, on the cover. And we got some more local music, you know what I'm saying? Ten Monday motivational quotes. Um, we got a music video by Wesp 8. Or excuse me, West Eight. Let me see, West Eight. Yeah, excuse me, I said it right. Uh, stream "How to Fight" song by Maya Barragan and Sam Clower on Spotify. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get more into that. Um, the Wilson Black Network is an artist collective network that discovers and formally recognizes local talent. Okay, so we're really not even like worried about you know dealing with the famous or the popular people. You know what I'm saying? Because people already know their story. Okay, and uh, the longer I go being unnoticed, the longer this is going to remain committed. And as far as I can see, this is going to remain committed to local talent, local artists, the local level. You know what I'm saying? And to, you know, you know, have that platform here, not to be bought out. Okay, but to, you know, really service the community. You know what I'm saying? Even beyond my time, you know. And yo, man, we got, you know, issue 78 and 79. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got, you know, the credits page, Mass McCall just dropped the album, Endurance, okay, for the ladies, go ahead and check it out, the link's all up in there, we got the contents page, who remembers playing kickball in school when we was kids, the hashtag, this was just a little, uh, Twitter, social mark, social media research and I was doing just on latest trends and trying to, you know I mean, just experimenting with content marketing and things like that, you know what I'm saying, but look, for issue 81, you know, it went really when I was like, you know what, you know, I renewed my PowerPoint license, whatever, and then things started getting cracking. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to make 81 just another, you know, 10, uh, you know, pretty much a 10 uh, article digest. Okay, that's what they've been for the past few issues because, you know, I just really had to, you know, make this is make the, the you know, production of the magazine uh, as efficient as possible. You know what I'm saying? And doing 25, 50 articles. You know, when we was doing monthly, man, we was doing 100 articles. You know what I'm saying? Our last few monthly issues was 100 article issues, okay? We've been going hard at this. And uh, there's just a lot, a ton of content you could check out in the Wilson Block magazine. A lot of it's clickable, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is, man. Uh, we got an article by John 2 Randall. He's got quite a few articles in here. Um, you know, the Zoo the Gang article he wrote, they released some... Some music, okay, we got Join the Wilson Block Network, book an exclusive interview, or submit some music and art, man, it's all free, you know what I'm saying, uh, except, except the exclusive interview part, you know what I'm saying, we do um, ask for a modest fee for that, you know what I mean, because there is some work that goes into it, but I guarantee you we got your best interests at heart, and you just can't buy that these days, man, everybody that we do exclusive interviews with is special. You know what I'm saying to us. You know what I'm saying, and you know there is no story like theirs. You know what I mean. Doesn't matter who they are. You know what I mean. It's your boy, Mr. Wilson Holler, man. Fill out the forms, subscribe to everything, like us, follow us, all of that, because this is a platform to discover local talent. Okay. And then, yo, we got the uh, excuse me, uh, meet emo rap musician Loco Zarni from Johannesburg, South Africa. Born at Val Zone 7, where I had a lot of music going on and was inspired by a lot of musicians like Tupac and B.I.G. to Kendrick Lamar, Travis Scott, and Trippy Red. Making music began 2015 up until now where I have released songs such as The Witness and still working on an album. I'm local Zarni. Expect more from me. Okay, and go ahead and click his picture right there to learn more about the kid. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Loco Zarni. Thank you for submitting your formal artist introduction. And that's what it is, man. Uh, we got some photography, you know what I'm saying? And, and listen, man, we're putting some royalty free photography in here. And uh, you know what? I'm attributing the artist. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't necessarily have to, it just makes sense to since we're supporting local artists. You know what I mean? And we're just making it work like that for now until we can build uh, more contributors. For the publication, you know what I'm saying? If you're a freelancer out there, get at us, man. You know what I'm saying? We could pay you for certain things, you know what I mean? And build this cool thing we call the Wilson Block Magazine. Moving forward, man, we got uh, Listen to Got Thick song by Fat Fly Freddie Lee. Okay, did I say that right? Fat Fly Freddie Lee. <laughs> yeah. Fat Fly Freddie Lee, an eclectic artist, producer, and songwriter, announces the release of his new single, Got Thick. The hip-hop and R&B-infused record is available on major platforms for, sh for streaming and purchase. The Brooklyn native has taken a lyrical and retro-groovy approach to break down the fallacious stereotypes of curvy, plus-size women. Lee includes excerpts from women celebrating their confidence and embraced sexiness. 
His canny ability to ignite the mind, soul, and ears to distinguish societal pressure is unmatched and undeniably will top the charge as the timeless classic. Okay, so go ahead and check it out, you know what I mean, support your local music, you know what I mean, and then we got a um, Watch Hustler Story music video by Tony Mox Bird, Benny the Butcher, and Sheik Louch, okay, off the Beautiful Struggle EP out now, featuring Styles P, J.D. Kiss, Benny, and, and Sheik, okay, and uh, y'all know I got Beautiful Struggle mixtape too, okay, so make sure y'all check that out, and my next project is the 2.0, so we still pushing that title, and it's all love to all my cats out here pushing the pushing the crap, you know what I mean, you got the title, it's your Beautiful Struggle, I ain't mad at it, you know what I mean, and uh, moving forward, man, we got Grand Opus, okay, High Power, you know what I'm saying, stream it, okay, the LP by uh, Grand Opus featuring Sky Zoo, Buckshot, and more on Apple Music, you know what I'm saying. Since the late 70s, hip-hop culture has been a source of empowerment for communities without a voice, giving the unheard and ignored a platform to connect and fully express themselves through the language of art. And High Power... The aptly titled sophomore album from one of California's best kept secrets MC producer duo Grand Opus, Jack Scholar and Centric, 12 songs deep. The album features collaborations with Sky Zoo, Buckshot from Boot Camp Click, Prolific, and others. High Power plays as a perfect blend of thought provoking lyricism and hard hitting beats as Grand Opus showcased their signature sound in an effort to elevate the listener and help keep hip hop alive. Okay, hashtag Grand Opus, hashtag Jack Scholar, hashtag Centric, hashtag High Power. Okay, and make sure y'all go ahead and support that. We got the play links, uh, the icons in there now, you know what I'm saying? We got the, it's just everything to access this content is right there on the page. In the Wilson Block Magazine, we're so awesome. And moving forward, you know what I'm saying? We got some more um, photography, some beautiful women, okay. Uh, some cool street art, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know the the photo credits right there on the uh, the page, and uh, you can click their name and see more of their work. You know what I'm saying? It works like that. Um, and then now we got the lioness is breaking in an article by John Two Randall. Okay, and uh, he really did his thing on this. John Two Randall's articles. I'm going to go ahead and, and encourage you to just go ahead and read them. I'm not going to read those. The ones that I do read are really, you know, uh, song submissions and everything that, you know, they're just songs or videos that already come with a, a description to them. You know what I'm saying? But John Two Randall, man, he, he's, he's a great journalist, man, and, and his articles definitely deserve to be read. You know what I'm saying? So, or, or if spoken, spoken by him. You know what I mean? And a uh, big shout out to John 2 Randall. You know what I'm saying? We really appreciate the work that you do for the Wilson Block Magazine. And uh, you know, man, we happy to have it. You know what I'm saying? We got some more uh, street art right here. Graffiti, okay? And, um, you know, really, man, I'm not going to go ahead and pronounce their names, man, because I just don't want to get it wrong. It really varies. And, um, you know, it's it's just, you know, it's international artists. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so go ahead and check them out. You know what I mean? We got another article by John 2 Randall, you know what I'm saying, Dark Times on the Rise, okay, just another one I want y'all to, uh, want to encourage y'all to go ahead and check out and read, uh, we got some more, uh, portrait photography, okay, and another article with John 2 Randall, okay, he reviews Beyond Clouds album by Imagine, okay, now Imagine, you know what I'm saying, from the San Gabriel Valley, you know what I'm saying, I believe he's from Covina, okay, big shout out. Um, you know, he's a cat that, you know what I'm saying, uh, we've done an article interview with him in the past, he reached out to us uh, recently and, and, you know, asked if we could review the album, you know what I'm saying, I took a listening to it, I'm still listening to it, you know what I'm saying, I'm liking it, uh, I had John Tu, uh, asked John Tu Randall to, you know what I'm saying, I passed the assignment on to him and, you know, I, I just, you know, really kind of, you know, put him to the test with it. And he just passed with flying colors, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I thought the review was awesome. Imagine thought it was good. And, you know, everyone's happy. You know what I'm saying? So I want to encourage y'all to go ahead and check it out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, not only the review, but the actual album. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, hit us up. Let, you, let, let us know what you think about the album. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward. Watch All Saints Burn music video by Hezekiah Wilson featuring DJ Stiz. Uh, my name is Hezekiah Wilson. I am an artist from Richmond, Virginia, and this is my latest single 
All Saints Burn featuring DJ Steez off my latest album. Uh, yeah, some Roman numerals I ain't too sure about. But yeah, man, forgive me, man. Just don't want to get it wrong, you know what I'm saying? Um, moving forward, we got uh, Watch the MC music video by Grand Opus. Okay, it's the video by Grand Opus performing the MC. Um, you know what I'm saying? Copyright 2018, you know what it is. Okay, click the link, it's all there. And then we got, um, you know, a track that's on the cover, Listen and Download Closer, song by Binks, okay? And this is a song she wrote when she was temporarily living in Los Angeles. Um, it's about being near lots of people, but not really being with anyone. It is a relaxed invitation to come in, be real, and be human. Okay, and uh, this is an artist that submitted her music, and hey, look, she submitted her music off of the Craigslist, man, and she ended up on the cover of the magazine, so I just want all the artists and people out there to know that it's very possible for you to get included in this publication, okay? She has her picture right there blown up on the whole page, um, she has her description right there, and a, and a play and, and, and download link, you know what I'm saying, a company. You know what I'm saying? Everything else. And then we got Stream How to Fight, okay, by Maya Barragan and Sam Clower on Spotify. A simple acoustic song written about a young girl moving on from heartbreak and learning how to fight for after being cheated, lied to, and deceived by someone close. Um, she learns the complicated nature of self-love and satisfaction with one's being without the need for a romantic companion. Played with one acoustic guitar by Sam Clower and vocals by Mara, excuse me, Maya Barragan, this quaint singer-songwriter pop song brings light to the complicated emotions and typical struggles of young love and growing as a person. And I'm telling you, man, it's just a great, the Wilson Black's just a great platform to discover local music. Okay, she has some pretty cool art I thought it was awesome. Go ahead and access it. All the links are right there on the page. And uh, it's just cool stuff, man. Uh, moving forward, we got Listen to What's Free. Freestyle by Mars Money, okay? Mars Money can tell you all about what's free. Another free makes building momentum for the new project on the way. Freestyle Friday, hashtag, uh, Noxman, hashtag, okay? Go ahead and click the links to access that. You know what it is. We got some more music right here. Listen to Hey You Lover by Inez Burton from Portland. Inez Burton started making music in her bedroom when she was 16. Inspired by love, travel, the ocean, nature, she produces and sings on those slow, mel melancholic pop songs. Okay? And I'll uh, go ahead and click that out. Or, excuse me, click that and check it out. You know what I mean? And uh, we're moving forward. Listen to Cake on Cake, song by Corey Buckets. Okay? Buckets' creativity with music is his weapon of choice in the struggle against society's age, music, and cultural expectations for American youth. The diversity of his subject matter has endeared him to fans of all genders and ages. Since music does bridge so many gaps in humanity, why not have that be a driving force for his creations? His deep appreciation of where music comes from or where music has come from, directly influences where his creativity will be going in the future. Okay? And check out Corey Buckets, man. The link's right there. And uh, support your local artists, man. You know what it is. Moving forward, we got Listen and Download, William Penn album by Hubs. Okay? And Pittsburgh artist Hubs returns with his ninth project and full-length LP, William Penn. Features from former uh, Mac Miller duo member Breedy and former uh, REM Remember music artist uh, franchise of the Come Up production from Grammy nominated M16 along with former Remember music artist Primavera Vils additional production from longtime affiliate Nice Work as well as Meticulous C. Scott, Sebastian Haustain, P. Hot and Hubs himself um you can follow them online and stay tuned for the vinyl press. Click the links in the description. We got the keywords right there. And it's all there, man. Big shout out, man. Thank y'all for submitting the work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch Ramble On music video by Wesp8. Okay. And um, Ramble On is about the longing to understand life through er experimentation and historical context. We only know the past, and yet we barely know it's passing. I'm searching for meaning, and I'm yet to find. So ramble on. 
And uh, we checked out the video. Go ahead and check it out. It's pretty cool. The album art's pretty cool. And that's what it is, man. We got some Monday uh, motivation tips for you and quotes. You know what I mean? And that's the Wilson Block Magazine, issue 81. I want to thank y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? For taking the time to really hear about this publication. And, um, you know, just talk about everything that's inside of it. And uh, please, man, if you want to support... You know what I'm saying? This platform where we're supporting local artists, you know what I'm saying? Pledge seven to the Wilson Block Network. It's seven dollars a month, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be helping us provide creative spaces and and strengthen this platform to where we can do more talent scouting, more exclusive interviews and helping share the stories of local artists in the hopes of inspiring others. You know what I'm saying? And yo, man, me personally, man, you know, I'm a local artist. I'm inspired by local artists. I'm tuned in to local music. I listen to more local music than anything, man. I couldn't tell you much about this mainstream stuff, man. And that's why I really don't get too caught up in it. Because with the Wilson Block, man, you know, we got our own scene. You know what I'm saying? And it's the local music scene. It's a faction of it. And we're really trying to tie that up and, and, and unite local music scenes everywhere. That's really what the goal is, man. That's the mission we on. And again, thank y'all for tuning in. It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. This was the Wilson Mag, issue 81. And uh, we come out every Wednesday, man, so you know what it is, man. Like, subscribe, do all that great stuff. And until next time, I'm out.